Hey, here's how you control the ETC Element Classic with the EOS iRFR Classic app. So first what you want to do is you want to exit to the shell by clicking exit and OK. Then you want to go to settings and you want to keep a note of your IP address here. And what you also want to do is scroll down to where it says Wi-Fi remote and make sure that is all on. Apart from that, we don't need any other settings in here. What you want to do then is plug in your wireless access point or router like I have here to power, which is this cable. And then you want to plug in the yellow cable for ethernet which is allows the console to send information and for your phone to connect to the router and then send information back to the console. That yellow cable will get plugged into the back of the console. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but there it is. Yeah, right there. And if you've got network activity there, that means you've got a successful connection between your devices. The next step is to get the name of your network off of the access point. So, for example, here it says my network name is the SSID, which is Wi-Fi-0 EF9. So when I go to settings on my mobile device, I will look for that number. Uh, for that name on the network, that network name, sorry. And then what I will do is enter the password, which is just above my finger there, the pin. And that should get me into the console, uh, connected to the network, sorry. Then what we're gonna wanna do is download the EOS IRFR Classic app on your phone, iPhone or Android, it is free as it is the classic app. Then what you are going to want to do is follow the instructions on the screen here, but you're going to want to add your console to the app, which you add in your IP address, you add in a nickname for your console, and you'll also add in the console's uh, password, which is the, the default is the name of your console. Now you can find the name of your console in your, if you go into your console, if you go into primary, on element, wait for it to load up. And if you go to setup and you go to device settings, and you see under config here, it says device name. That is what your password will be to access and add the console in the EOS IRFR Classic app. Then you will be able to con control things such as rigors control or a channel check as well as, so once you've connected it, you'll be able to control your console using um, the go and step back buttons as you would usually. You'll be able to see your cue list on there with labels as well. And you'll be able to do a rig check as well.